Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at solving a rational inequality. So we want to solve this inequality, we want to give our answer in interval notation. First thing that we want to do to solve this inequality is we want to get one side to be zero. So in this case, that means I'm going to need to add one to both sides. So three over x minus four plus one over one is now going to be less than or equal to zero. On this left hand side, we would like to have one single fraction. So I am going to multiply both sides, or sorry, top and bottom of one over one by x minus four to get a common denominator. That's gonna give me three over x minus four plus x minus four over x minus four is less than or equal to zero. Since my denominators are the same, I can go ahead and combine my numerators. So that gives me x minus one from three plus negative four giving me negative one is less than or equal to zero. Now that I have my rational expression being compared to zero, I can list out any excluded values and any zeros. Excluded values we know come from values of x that would make our denominator zero. In this case, that would be x equals four. And zeros come from any values that would make our numerators be zero. So in this case, x minus one gives me a zero of x equals one. Once we have those values, we'll go ahead and place them on a number line extending from negative infinity to infinity. So here's one. Here's four. That breaks my number line into three sections. So we're going to plug values in from each section to determine if our rational expression x minus one over x minus four is positive or negative in each of those. So let's take a value below one. Let's say x equals zero and plug that into our expression. So at x equals zero, that would be zero minus one over zero minus four, or negative one divided by negative four, which would be positive one over four. So we'll place a positive symbol there. Taking a value between one and four, let's say three. Three minus one over three minus four, gives me, let's see, three minus one is negative two, over three minus four is negative one. So that is going to give me negative two divided by negative one is positive two. Oh, I'm sorry, three minus one, I was like, that doesn't seem right. Three minus one is positive two, so that will be a negative value, actually. There we go. And above four, let's say x equals five. Then five minus one over five minus four is gonna give me a positive four over a positive one to make a positive. So checking out which of those constitute our solution, we notice that we have x minus one over x minus four is less than or equal to zero. So that means we're gonna look for values that make negative or also make zero. So the negative come from right here between one and four looking to see which of those can be included since we do have the equal to we want to make sure that we include our zeros but that we exclude our excluded values so one will be included by enclosing with a bracket and four will be excluded by closing with a parenthesis so our solution to this rational inequality is one to four all right guys that does it for this video we'll catch you in the next one